there are quite a range of insect pests that attack barley, both the winter crop and the spring crop. Uh, some of the key ones are aphids, and they're a problem both for feeding on the heads of the crop, both the winter and the spring barley crop, but also because they vector uh, barley yellow dwarf virus. Now, barley yellow dwarf virus, as the name suggests, crop grows yellow and it has a kind of uh, dwarf effect in that if the crop doesn't grow to its full height. This one's kind of quite normal here. And the aphids can transmit that into the winter crop in the autumn and also into uh, spring barley when it's germinating um, in the early spring. Now, the only way to try and manage the aphids for transmitting barley or dwarf virus, there are two routes. One is through using a seed treatment, an insecticide seed treatment, and the other one is by using a foliar spray uh, when the aphids have got onto the plants. And the foliar spray can be used in the autumn or the spring, whereas the seed treatment is only uh, approved for winter barley crops, not spring barley. The key is to control the aphids before they transmit the virus. So the seed treatments will give an overall protection. You don't really need to worry then about getting an aphicide spray on in the autumn, but in the spring, you will need to put an aphicide spray on when aphids start to move into the crop. The other thing you need to do is to control the green bridge. So that's the stubble and volunteers before you put in your following crop, whether it's a winter crop or a spring crop, because aphids can survive on the stubble and then they'll just walk onto the germinating crop. Another key pest, particularly in spring barley crops, are leather jackets. And particularly if you're going into spring barley after grass, there's an issue with the fact that the leather jacket grubs will have been feeding on the grass over the winter months. And then if you don't have a really a three or four week gap before you put your spring barley in the ground, the leather jacket grubs can actually attack the spring barley as it germinates. And with the loss of the insecticide Clopyrifos, there are now no chemical controls available for leather jackets and spring barley. The only other pest problem that occasionally pops up would be slugs. And there is now uh, two active ingredients for controlling slugs. Um, you've got ferric phosphate and you've got metaldehyde. There are restrictions on the use of metaldehyde. Uh, you can't put metaldehyde within 10 meters of a field boundary and there are restrictions in the amounts of metaldehyde you can apply in a calendar year. So ferric phosphate is a very good viable alternative to metaldehyde and in practice you would probably try and use them both in a slug management program.